guys, Drew here for, again for Z Code System, and this week I'd like to talk to you guys about the English Premier League and some of the soccer action going on across the pond in England this weekend. A lot of big matchups going on, and the biggest, of course, is going to be Liverpool taking on Manchester United at Anfield in Liverpool, and the Reds taking control of first place last weekend after Manchester City lost for the first time to Chelsea, and uh, Liverpool taking on their arch rivals Manchester United, and there's a very good chance that they also could taste defeat this weekend, and Manchester City could once again return to the top of the league but let's take a look at a few games this weekend and of course if you want to get a lot of great information and a lot of great picks you can go to the z code system blog and check all those out but if you are a vip club member you can log into z code system and check out some great games and great action of course we're looking at 15th of december that is this coming saturday and uh, we're looking at specifically to start off with we're going to look at manchester city so a lot of games going on so we're just going to scroll down there it is manchester city taking on everton that game will be taking place at the itahad stadium in manchester on saturday and as you can see manchester city going in as heavy favorites uh, in this game despite suffering a surprise loss last weekend to chelsea everton not a pushover but uh, they definitely don't have the same star quality that Manchester City do. And let's take a look at the latest head-to-head -head between these two teams. Uh, and as you can see, Manchester City winning uh, their most recent game last March. And uh, some good results for them. Everton did uh, pick up a win back in January 2017. Uh, a 4-0 win. That was a, a massive victory for them. But uh, other than that, Manchester City have really dominated the fixtures lately. And just to take out one more tool, we'll take out, check out the Volatility Oscillator before we close this game out between Man City and uh, Everton. And as we can see, the stability right now, Man City at 19, while Everton is at a zero. What an absolute fantastic stability for Manchester City. They've been playing awesome this whole season. Just one loss, as I've said already. Um, really, it's hard to pick anything else besides a Man City win in this game. They're playing very well, and uh, at home, they are nearly unstoppable. So really, I think you've got to go with a Manchester City win in this game. Now, let's look at a couple of more before we sign out this week. And we're just going to change the dates real quickly. We're going to go to the 16th of December. That is Sunday. And of course, a lot of great games. We're just waiting for the uh, VIP club page to load up here. And uh, we'll take a look at a few games. Um, the game, next game we're going to look at is Arsenal taking on Southampton. Uh, they'll be taking, they'll be playing that game in Southampton at St. Mary's Stadium. Uh, Southampton not very, doing very well this season. They currently sit second from bottom in the English Premier League. Arsenal, they currently sit in the top six, uh, playing some very good soccer right now, or football, depending on uh, whichever terminology you prefer. And again, as you can see, lots of games going on this weekend uh, in Europe. And here is the Arsenal Southampton game uh, and as you can see Arsenal going in with uh, the better of the odds and of course they should the way they are playing right now Southampton struggling quite a bit they've made a a managerial change recently Mark Hughes uh, received the sack and uh, Ralph Hasenhudel uh, took over he's a former manager of RB Leipzig in Germany uh, a lot of promise there but uh, I think it's going to be a while before we see Southampton really improving uh, in the wins column, uh, maybe you know, take a relegation to the championship for them to actually get back to winning ways. But uh, let's take a look at the latest head-to-head, -head, uh, or most recent head-to-head -head between these two teams. And as you can see, Arsenal undefeated uh, in their last uh, five fixtures there. Um, Southampton did claim a victory back in uh, December of 2015, but that is a long time ago. Arsenal scoring a lot of goals this year. And uh, they have the second most goals right now in the Premier League. I believe it is 35 right now uh, that they have scored this season. And uh, checking out the Volatility Oscillator very quickly before we move past this game. And as you can see, Arsenal at a stability of 13, Southampton um, at just 5. Now, last weekend, Arsenal did struggle a bit to break down Huddersfield. Uh, they did in the end with a, a one-goal victory. And... Um, Really, Arsenal playing great. They're burning hot right now, as you can see. Uh, Southampton ice cold down right now. And 
again, in this game, you can't look past Arsenal to pick up the victory, uh, pick up all three points. They're playing some great soccer right now. Southampton's struggling mightily. And, uh, you know, Arsenal is a team that I think next year will be able to contend for a Premier League title. This year, not quite so yet. They uh, they just don't have that, um, uh, you know, that, that ability right now under new manager Unai Emery. But next year, once they have a, a season under his uh, under his management, this is going to be a, a really good team to look out for. So that's going to be uh, our two games that we look at this week. Of course, you can go to our blog, Z Code System. You can check out some of uh, some of my writing, some of our other writers' writing, and check out uh, some of our picks and predictions. Um, I've already posted my blog this week about English Premier League predictions, and you can check out what I thought about the Liverpool Manchester United game there. And uh, guys, Christmas is coming up and we just want to thank you for being members this year and checking out the Z Code System website. And we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. And uh, we congratulate you as well on all of the fantastic profits and winnings you have been making this year. So congratulations, guys. We hope to see you next week or we hope you to see us next week, I guess. And uh, when we pick our next set of games and our predictions. So uh, have a great time, guys, this weekend, and we'll see you soon.